Hello, I am Luos, and in this guide or tutorial for the Impact Effects Pack, I'm going to show you how to make a new texture for the radial rain particle. First off, though, I'd like to apologize in advance if you can hear my cats or dogs or any other noise, as well as me sometimes having to reconfigure my screens to get the right menus to show up. Okay, let's start. So, for the radial rings, you need a horizontal texture, and I just made one. You can make anything that's horizontally aligned. You can use photo sources. Draw something else, whatever you want. You can even use teddy bears or cat images if you want to. So I have this image right here, and that's basically all I need. I can add some more gradients, but for this example, this should be fine. I'm going to save it. And as you can see here, I already got quite a few things. I'm going to pick the last one and probably impact rings. That's the ones I need. So let's just pick that one and call it 05. I'm going to save it. Leave it however you want to, and then go to the impacts package. Go to textures, impact effects, and this is where I'm going to import it. Uh, let's see, I just make one that should be here. Import it. Double click on it. Make sure it's set to alpha in the compression settings. And the texture group should be effects. And in this case, you want to set the mid map settings to no mid maps. Um, this texture is quite big in this case. I need to rescale it. I'm gonna do that real quick. Image, image size, and like I told you, I need to reconfigure my displays because some weird bug with four monitors. That one, make this my main display. And there we have this. And now I can set the display back again. Very annoying. I blame Windows 10. I don't think they ever tried four monitors. All right. I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. That should do it. Save it again. Re-import. And should set, give the right settings. Yes. Everything is still correct. And I'm going to save this asset. Now in the content browser, I'm going to go to the materials and radial ranks. And I'm going to... Duplicate one of the materials. I'm just gonna pick one of the first ones. I'm gonna duplicate it, and this should be L radial ring L05, or actually L1. There we go. Open it and find the new texture in here. And let's pick the right one. Impact ring. There we go. Now we have a new one. I'm going to save it and create a few variations. Duplicate it, L2, and texture tell amount. I'm going to increase a little bit in the here, four, five, six. In this case, I think there isn't enough. Actually, let's do four and let's move to the ring notcher a little bit. There, so it looks a little bit better. And then we can use the outer ring or inner ring radius to remove that hole, as you can see there. Oh, point one should be enough. Open one five in this case, I guess. Two five there. And we can do that for all those things, of course. I'm gonna tweak this one a little bit as well. And there, that's better. Oh, wait. five. Oh. Where are we going? Come on. A bit more like that. Oh, dot seven five. I guess is a good one. Ah. Okay. So is better. And then use the inner ring radius again to hide that. Okay. And let's move this a bit over. And as you can see, you can easily add something more. So whole values are often better. In this case, I'm going to use five there. I'm going to make two more real quick. I'm going to duplicate this one more and call it invert L1. And I'm going to set the texture tile amount to minus one. I'm going to remove the inner ring radius effect. And I'm going to play around with the ring nature until I get something that looks really cool. Something 
without the, the small white dot there, that's, we can probably just use zero in this case. And use the outer ring radius to hide that small thin line that you can see. So 495 should be enough. Yeah. And uh, let's change the texture tile amount to something more interesting. Three works, four works. Let's just pick this one and duplicate it one more time. Because I also want one with at least five spikes. There we go. All right. Now let's go to the particle system that has these things. Uh, the last one I made was Red Ring Collection 4. I'm going to add a few to them. I made four new ones. <coughs> Pardon. So I'm just going to duplicate and share them four times. One, two, three, four. Uh, I need to rename them, of course. That's something that I like doing. Well, not like doing, but it's, it helps with being very clear. Apologies if it takes a few seconds. You can skip ahead if you want, of course. And let's go for 102 here. And I need to clean the required node. So hold down Control, left mouse click, and uh, move them about so they are not shared anymore. And uh, let's pick the new one. L1 should be the correct one. There we go. And then L2, let's separate it so you can see it. There we go. And now the inverted L1 should be a little bit higher. Inverted L1. There we go. And the last one is inverted L2. There. So that's how you make a new effect for the radial rings. And that's it. Take care. All right, before I forget, and this is something I keep hitting myself with, um, in Cascade there's some weird bug with LODs. So before you start copying and pasting everything, uh, if you replace this required node with in Lightning Impact 02, then you need to be sure that it's a separate one. So I'm going to control and move this over here so it's a new one. And I go to con LOD 01 with this. I need to go to the required node and duplicate from highest or share from highest. It also works. And now it actually has impact O2 because if I go to the LOD2 now and I select it, it's not working, but it isn't normally. Um, sadly, you need to do that for all the things you're duplicating. So let's just do it real quick. Actually, because I already have this, I can just shift and drag over it and now it works. But let's do it one more time just to be clear. At the moment, the required says impact 02. But if I go to another LOD and click on it, it still says lightning impact 01. You need to right click on it and then share from highest. Now it actually picks lightning 02. And sometimes you also need to do that for LOD 2. So I'm going to click on it again just to be sure. And now it works. So keep that in mind before you find that the LODs are messing up and giving a different texture. All right. Uh, hope this bug gets fixed eventually. Take care. So this issue is also present in anything where you have LODs present. So in the power bolt impact, you need to do the same thing. So select one of the required nodes, hold down control and make it a unique one. Go to the other LOD and select it and say share from higher. Go to the LOD 02 just in case, click on it and set share from higher. There, now it works. And Go back to the first LOD, hold down shift and overwrite them all. And this will make sure that whenever an LOD in the particle system is kicked in, that it actually samples the right material instance. Keep that in mind, please. Take care.